Welcome back to TechLogix. If you've been following our series on Hikvision 4 GPT network cameras, you're in the right place. In our last video, we covered how to install the necessary plugin for the Chrome browser. If you missed it, make sure to check it out for a comprehensive guide. Today, in the fifth part of our series, we'll demonstrate how to add a 4G camera that is connected to a LAN network to your Hikvision DVR. This will enable you to record footage on the DVR storage and view it live alongside other DVR cameras. Ensure that your 4G camera is connected via LAN and that the DVR is also connected to the same modem or router, as illustrated in the diagram. This setup is crucial for seamless integration and optimal performance, allowing both devices to communicate effectively within the network. First, set a static IP address for your camera. To do this, enter the camera's current IP address into your browser's URL bar and log in with your credentials. This will take you to the camera's live view and settings interface, where you can configure the network settings to assign a static IP. To set a static IP address for your camera, navigate to the configuration page, then go to Network and Network Settings, and select TCP IP. By default, the IP address is set to be assigned automatically through the DHCP option. To assign a static IP, locate and disable or uncheck the DHCP option, then manually enter an IP address that matches your router's IP range. For example, if your router's IP is 192.168.1.1, you can set the camera's IP to something like 192.168.1.101 or another available address within the same subnet. Ensure that the gateway is set to your router or modem's IP address. After entering the correct details, save the configuration. Note, we set a static IP address because if DHCP remains enabled, the camera's IP address may change periodically. This can cause issues when adding the camera to your DVR, as the device might become inaccessible if its IP address changes. Assigning a static IP ensures the camera always uses the same address, maintaining a stable connection with the DVR. After saving the configuration, the camera will reboot. Wait a few minutes for the reboot to complete. Then, enter the assigned static IP address into your browser to verify if you can access the camera. If the camera opens successfully and is accessible via the assigned IP, it confirms that the IP configuration was successful. At this point, you can proceed to add the camera to the DVR for recording and live viewing. To add the camera to the Hikvision DVR, open the DVR's IP address in your web browser and log in using the admin credentials. Navigate to the configuration page, then go to camera management. On this page, you'll see options for both analog and IP channels. By default, a four-channel Hikvision DVR is equipped with four analog channels and one IP camera, while an eight-channel DVR has eight analog channels and two IP channels. If you want to add more IP cameras beyond the default capacity, you can choose to disable one or more analog channels by disconnecting their cables, allowing you to replace those analog channels with additional IP cameras. In this demo DVR, we have the option to add one additional IP camera. To do this, we will demonstrate adding the 4G camera to the DVR by choosing either the Manual Add or Quick Add option. If you select Quick Add, the DVR will automatically search for cameras on the same LAN network and list any detected devices. If the camera is not detected automatically, you can manually add it by selecting the Add option and entering the necessary details. When you select the Add option, a pop-up window will appear. Enter the 4G camera's LAN IP address in the IP address field. Set the protocol to Hikvision, the management port to 8000, and enter the username as admin. For the password and confirm password, use the camera's password that you set when activating the camera. Once all details are entered, click OK to add the camera to the DVR. If the configuration is successful, the camera's status on the IP channel page will change to online, confirming that the camera has been added correctly. This indicates that the DVR is now communicating with the camera and live feed and recordings will be captured through the DVR accordingly. 
Now, the added camera will appear in the DVR's live view section. It will be displayed alongside the existing DVR cameras, making it easy to access multiple feeds from a single interface. This setup allows you to monitor all camera feeds simultaneously, providing a comprehensive and integrated live view experience. You can switch between cameras or view them all at once for effective surveillance. You can also set up recording options for the added camera through the Storage Schedule Settings page. This allows you to customize how and when the camera records, giving you flexibility to tailor the surveillance to your specific needs. Within these settings, you can choose between continuous recording, which captures footage non-stop, or motion detection recording, which only records when movement is detected. You can also schedule recordings based on weekly or hourly time blocks, ensuring efficient use of storage and targeted monitoring according to your preferred schedule. You can also review the recorded footage of the added camera in the playback section, making it easy to access and playback specific videos whenever needed. Additionally, the added camera can be viewed on the monitor connected to the DVR and through the HitConnect mobile app. If the camera doesn't appear immediately in the HitConnect app, Try closing the app completely or logging out, then re-logging in to refresh the connection. This will ensure the new 4G camera is accessible on your mobile device. If you found this video useful, we would greatly appreciate your support. Your feedback and contributions help us create more informative content and enable us to continue providing valuable resources. Whether by liking the video, sharing it with others, or subscribing to our channel, Every bit of support makes a difference and encourages us to keep creating helpful tutorials. Thank you for being part of our community. Stay tuned for more.